happen to me that's what you said wasn't it bill but it can and just didn't you're not quite sure why let's see if we can find out too many minutes ago that young woman and her child were happy and healthy now their young bodies are crushed and racked with pain maybe they'll live and maybe they'll die but one thing sure the next few minutes hours or maybe days their lives will hang in the balance and you'll have to live out those minutes hours and days knowing you were responsible the police will measure out the skid marks determine where you applied the brakes give you a sobriety test and it will all go into a report that will be reviewed in court maybe you'll be found guilty maybe you won't but you'll never outlive the memory of waiting waiting to find out if the mother and daughter will live or die then the police are at you with questions where had you been had you been drinking would you submit to a sobriety test sure why not after all you'd only had a few beers you're not drunk of course you're not drunk not in the common sense of the word begins you get a superman complex behind the wheel at the very time when your driving skill and mental outlook have been seriously damaged the alcohol works as an anesthetic and we adopt a I don't care or sure I can make it attitude we contemplate stupid things like passing on a curve or a hill we become easily exasperated by the driver we feel isn't going fast enough and we take chances we wouldn't ordinarily take to pass him true enough we're not drunk at least not legally drunk by that we mean our blood alcohol content is still below the point one five percent considered by law to be legally intoxicated but those few beers we had can reduce our driving ability as much as twenty five to forty percent the national safety council says that two normal cocktails or four beers can reduce visual acuity as much as wearing dark glasses at night not only a fool would drive at night wearing dark glasses but nobody thinks much about driving after four beers the effect of alcohol on vision is particularly serious because ninety percent of the driving decisions we make are based on how well we see so if you must drive don't drink if you do drink and must drive wait let the effects of the alcohol wear off a good rule of thumb wait one hour for each bottle of beer or each ounce of whiskey we all find excuses for drinking bills weren't so different from the rest a need to belong a desire to go along with the group try something new it may start innocently enough a few beers with the gang it is a social custom of our time but today that social custom is invading our society at a younger age than ever before the few drinks that the social drinker may take don't seem to present a serious danger but the trouble with drinking and driving is that it is always too late when the emergency arises and our reactions are too slow to avoid disaster it is readily agreed by authorities and tests that driving skills are to a degree a matter of habit build up over long periods of practice it has also been proven that the latest driving skills mastered are the first to go when under the influence of liquor therefore the older more experienced driver is less likely to have his skills seriously impaired than the younger less experienced driver one must be able to judge speed and distance follow traffic patterns make necessary adjustments and be able to react quickly to emergencies after a few drinks the good driver is no longer capable of doing this he has become a poor driver and is a danger to himself and others this happened to you didn't it bill sure you passed your sobriety test it showed you had only point oh eight percent blood alcohol about half the legal limit they can't convict you on drunk driving can they but you'll always have to face the fact that those beach party beers were a contributing factor in your accident if you hadn't had them you might have hit the brake pedal a second or two earlier those skid marks on the asphalt would have stopped on the right side not the wrong side of that young woman and her daughter the report just came through the little girl died on the way to the hospital and the mother will probably never walk again no matter how your trial comes out you'll always have to live with those facts won't you bill a child dead a mother crippled not a pleasant future to face at the age of 18 Thank you.